For those of you who may not know, my name is Cynthia. Welcome to the second installment of my video blogs, my first experience summary. This week, I was exposed to a 29-point inspection of a vehicle, my vehicle. Doing this activity was a bit difficult, I'm not going to lie. There was a lot to remember, and for the most part, things were new to me. I followed my cousin around as he reviewed how to perform different checks on my vehicle to make sure things were in good shape. As he checked things, I checked them as well. I liked gaining insight, obtaining new information, and realizing how cars function. And I also enjoyed trying things myself, doing things myself. If I had to pick something I didn't like, it would have to have been realizing that some of the car maintenance and repair activities that I would have liked to do required equipment that was maybe too expensive or not necessarily easy to attain. Um, I, but I, I did like having to, <laughs> to jump on the back of my truck. That was fun in order to check the suspension. And I also realized that when you press down on the brake pedal and turn on your car, it going down is actually a good thing. Um, if I had to pick something as a dislike, yeah, it pretty much would have to been the, the equipment issues. So what I thought would be difficult about this activity was pretty much what was difficult about this activity. The only thing that really wasn't an issue was things being too heavy for me to handle. So let's take a, a peek at a clip. Let's get started. In here, these square boxes. You're just above it, so you should be good. If your engine oil is too low, then it will most likely result in your engine overheating, which you don't want at all. So over here, you have your brake fluid. The brake fluid goes through the brake lines and pushes the brake pads onto the rotor or the brake shoes out onto the rotor. So these are always transparently packaged in these containers right here, which means you can shake them and you can see the fluid kind of move around in there. And it's labeled minimum, so if you're above the minimum line, you should be good. You should be well above this, it's all the way down there. So for your brake fluid, you are good. As far as tire pressure goes, you should always have a sticker on the inside of your door right here. It's either over here or in here. And this tells you what your tire pressure should be at. So for you, it says cold tire pressure, 35 PSI, in the front and in the rear. So to check it, you need this one of these little fancy things. You can walk your tire, take the valve cap off, and you want to push it squarely onto the tire. Like that. Take it off. You shouldn't hear any air coming out like that, because that means the, tire, the air is coming out of your tires. Really? To do it fast? Mm -hmm. You don't have to do it fast, but just so that it's not leaking out of your tire like that one. Okay, can I try? Mm -hmm. You should be about 35. So you just push it down fast? Push it down fast. <laughs> so try it again. Push it back in. Try to help squarely with both hands. Push it. One more time. Make sure the stem doesn't move. There you go. That one was a good one. It's was at it really? 30. Is that 30? So it should be at 35. Mm -hmm. So if you were to go to the gas station, you should just... And they have meters on there too. So you can check it until it's up to 35. As you can see, some of those things took me a while to get the hang of. But I hope you enjoyed that video. Bye everyone.